is what I post and I found a lot of people are liking and sharing my content. So uh, I think it's uh, perfect for Twitter. So the four types of content that you can be posting on Twitter is quotes. You can post articles that you found online. You can post, you can just post your thoughts. Maybe you had an interesting thought, so you can share that with all of, with all of Twitter. Uh, that's how I do it sometimes. Sometimes I post articles. Sometimes I just share quotes, success quotes and stuff like that. And remember, everything that happens during the day can be a tweet because Twitter is basically a, a place to share your thoughts, to share quotes, to to share things that have happened to you. So everything can be a tweet. Any anything that has happened to you in the day, maybe somebody shouted at you, you can just share it on Twitter. It's an interesting place to uh, you know share your thoughts. Another way, another thing you can do on Twitter that I haven't written out on the slide is you can create polls that uh, you can ask your followers questions. Like for example, I've seen a lot of models do this. Uh, they just post a, a poll: Should I wear the red dress or the white dress? Or uh, some of uh, some of my friends sometimes post stuff like: uh, Should I wear the white sneakers or the black sneakers? It's interesting content and it's engaging your audience. So you can also create polls. You can also create polls on Instagram and Facebook. So it's perfect. Uh, polls are a very interesting way to actually engage your audience. You need to post more than 20 times a day. Uh, and actually, research has shown that the optimal optimal posts per day on Twitter are 50. So it's hard. This is the hard part about Twitter. It's hard to think of content 50 times a day. You can post quotes, articles, thoughts. Everything can be a tweet, and you can also create more engaging content by by creating polls and asking your uh, followers questions and asking them to give their opinion. So this is a way. Another an, another thing that you can post, uh, and but don't do this too often, is when you start selling stuff. Uh, let's say on day one you will be posting quotes all day. On day two, you'll be posting articles. On day three, you'll just be sharing your thoughts. On uh, day five, you can just share things that have happened during the day. Day six can be maybe a poll uh, or a couple of polls. And then on day seven, you can be selling. So you, you share a link to whatever you're selling. So, uh, or you can just do this. In the morning, you post two or three quotes. In the afternoon, you post two or three articles. You can post two or three thoughts, uh, something that has happened during the day. And then you can post uh, a poll and ask your uh, followers a question, and then you can share a link to whatever you're selling. So you can do, you can mix it in all kinds of ways, but it's optimal to post at least 20 times a day. Uh, perfect, it's gonna be perfect if it's 50. Yes, it's hard to think of content 50 times a day, but I did it uh, at, at, at one point, as I told you, I wanted to grow my Twitter account. So I, I decided, okay, look, then I'm gonna be posting 50 times a day if it's the optimal, way to post on Twitter, then I will be doing it, doing it because every post will basically be getting me more followers because uh, you don't know which post can make, uh, can become viral and gain you a, a few thousand followers. So post as much as you can on Twitter. There, there is basically no limit to posting. Follow as many people as you can, but beware of the limits of Twitter and be patient about Twitter because it's a bit slower. Not everybody sees that you have followed them. So meet me in the next video.